Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So the vote I posted on my community tab basically asked you guys what video I should post next. So the option that won was a lesson horse shopping vlog and I'm also going to cover a few minor updates on the Weeping Willow Equestrian Center. So my barn manager or in shorter words my best friend Emma has recently been bringing in lesson horses left and right while I've been getting construction and shipments set up. And to no surprise, Emma has brought in a fantastic 34 lesson horses. Crazy. And from all different places and facilities. And for reference, the WWEC's indoor barn has six different wings, each with 18 stalls, two wash stalls, a feed room, and a tack room. The first three wings are dedicated to lesson horses, while the last three are dedicated to boarded horses. So while Emma has been setting up the lesson program, I've been working on everything else. I've been getting all of the barns and buildings stocked, aka bringing in tack, shavings, feed, grooming supplies, etc. Anything that you could think of, basically. And construction on our cross-country course will begin next week. I've mainly been moving Emma and I, mainly our belongings, into our new home, which is exciting. So today I decided that I would go scavenge for lesson horses while Emma takes care of things at the WWEC. So, I went out to three different facilities, tried six different horses, and really had an amazing time. And before I continue, I do want to say that the WWEC has a website, which I'll link in the description. The website also features all of our lesson horses, so go check it out if you want to learn about them. Moving on, you may have noticed two familiar faces in the intro. Two horses from my facility shopping video have now been purchased and brought to the WWEC which is really exciting. So, Snowy, the Grey from Hollowood's Equestrian Center, is now in our lesson program and is such a sweet girl. She was apparently up for sale and I snatched her up as soon as I found out. Now, the other horse was the abandoned and frail horse that I found at the second property I visited. Essentially, once I left the property, I contacted the agent of the facility and asked about the horse. I was told that she was essentially for sale, but in short words, they were just trying to get rid of her. And I didn't even ask questions, which I know, pretty stupid, but I, I love that horse. So I ended up bringing her home as soon as I possibly could, and I was given a little bit of information. She wasn't named yet, but she stands at 15.1 hands high. She's aged 7 and is a cross between a Mustang and a Quarter Horse, I believe. Since she had no name, I took it as my responsibility to name her, so her name is Daylight, or Daya for short. And she's really underway and apparently has been started under saddle, but she still has a ton to learn. So once she gets to a healthy weight, I'm going to start working with her and update you guys on our progress. So this morning before I went anywhere, I had to bring in two mares from Turnout, which happened to be Daya and Snowy. They have a soft spot for each other, and I think it's adorable. So after I took the two inside, I headed out to the car park and set up the trailer. And then I was on my way to none other than the SEC. Ironic, I know. But since I knew the staff and the horses, I'd have a pretty good idea of what I was getting into. 
I saw two sale ads that caught my eye. One was more promising than the other, which I'll get into later. But once I arrived, I greeted the new barn manager, who was really, really friendly. He filled me in on the horses I'd asked about and what stall numbers they'd be in. So the first horse that I tried out was an 11-year-old gelding named Geronimo. His show name was SEC Bombs Away, and he had been consistently showing in 2-6 Hunters. His ad mentioned that he had no vices and would be a good lesson horse prospect. Once I found his stall, I was really taken aback with how gorgeous he was. He was a thoroughbred Arabian cross and was just so friendly. He had perfect ground manners and didn't mind any bit of the tacking process, which was nice. I mounted him just outside of the stables and walked down to the arena with him. Our warm up was nice and he picked up his hooves very nicely. He was also a very nice jumper and picked up his legs and tucked his knees. The only issue we had was a very small refusal, which was my fault, so I basically just turned him right around and went right back over it. So the second horse that I tried out was taken down to the arena for me along with her tack because I was running short on time. And I didn't have high hopes for her, but at least was aiming for her to have a stable enough foundation to be able to build off of. So this is Rosie, a four-year-old Belgian warm blood. She had fine ground manners and I was told that she could buck from time to time, which I could obviously manage. The only thing that wasn't ideal on the ground was that she was a bit wiggly, but it's manageable. Once I mounted up and got into a warm-up, I was put off a bit. She was a nice mover, but I felt like I was fighting with her the entire time to keep her in whichever gate that we were in. Which could be fixed depending on how severe it was, but it would still take time either way.
Once I picked up the canner, she was completely off balance, throwing in her inside shoulder and then bringing it back out, and she broke quite a lot. Our first mishap happened when she spooked at a jump and then veered off into a tiny canner circle. And when I tried to bring her down, she would not listen. She ran into the other jump, essentially backed into it, and then cantered into a rear, which, I mean, it was sittable, but it really threw me off. I was able to canter her a few more steps, however, just after a few seconds, she dropped her inside shoulder and pulled me back to the other side of the ring. I didn't want to just stop working with her, so I decided to give her another chance and jump a few small verticals. We got mainly bad spots, and I either ended up jumped out of the tack or flung forwards. It wasn't until I tried to jump a line of two when more of the issues arose. We got a terrible distance to the first jump, and then she refused the second, which I assumed was due to the bad distance, so I tried again, and we got an okay distance to the next try, but she still refused the second jump. I assumed that she might need more speed coming in, so I tried that, and she refused at least two strides out of the second jump and threw another tantrum. I was so determined to not let this horse get the best of me, so I turned her around and tried to come from the other direction, but same thing. She refused the second jump and then proceeded to back through it. I tried one last time and she threw a massive tantrum, so at that point I was just like, this is not worth it, I'm not even gonna buy this horse. <laughs> So I just hopped off, took her home, and thanked the SEC, and at first I assumed that it was her age or maybe the lack of knowledge, but for a horse that was claimed to have the fundamentals, it must have just been either a lie or pure misbehavior, which I didn't have time for at all. She wasn't a bad horse, there's no such thing, but she needed far more training than I had the time for or could offer for her. So next I headed out to the Harvest Counties. Well, more specifically, Yorvik Stables, which was a very nice change of scenery as it was far enough west to not be affected by the most recent snowstorm that we got further north in Yorvik. And since Yorvik Stables had all of their jumps taken down as they were being repainted, I was just going to end up flatting the horses, but I did end up being told that the horses that I wished to try out did jump and I was shown a few pictures and videos. So I ended up getting to talk to a staff member, and then I just headed into the barn to try my first horse out. The first horse I tried out was a seven-year-old Morgan Dartmoor Crossmare named Sugar, or J.E. Swedish Sugar, and I was told that she had been competing in 3-3 three, three Hunters. She had no vices and was just so sweet, true to her name. <laughs> she was a quick and easy tack and was well behaved on the ground. No biting, no wiggling, etc. Once we reached the flat arena, I just decided to set up my camera in one corner. Sugar had gorgeous gates, smooth and fancy, she was such a fun ride, and I'll just sit back and shut up and let you guys watch.
Also, the Yorick Staples ads didn't have much extra info on them, so I was pretty much going out on a limb to try out this next mare. And this is Missy, or J.E., Mastermind. I read that she was trained under saddle, meaning she knew the basics. I also read that she had a bucking habit and refused quite a lot, which wasn't a problem since I really wouldn't be jumping and I could handle the bucking. Her ground manners were fine, that wasn't the problem. problem was that once I got into the arena and hopped on, she immediately started backing up. Which, I mean, could be fixed, but is really not ideal for a horse with the purpose of going into a lesson program. During my warm-up, I noticed that she had a habit of stopping and backing up and then going forward once more. She did it a few times and it was just getting annoying at that point, and I did end up asking a staff member about it and she just said it's what she did. She didn't lessen whether you had a crop, a whip, or spurs, etc. So that was not good. <laughs> She did the same thing in the trot and was really wiggly, she kept dropping her hooves, tripping over herself, etc. Once I got her trotting down the diagonal for a good while, the whole bucking thing came out, which really wasn't that bad and it was pretty easy to sit but because of her small size. And I tried putting her on a big circle to pick up the canner, which went well for a few seconds before she slammed her brakes and reared. After a small meltdown, I was able to get a bit of canner out of her. Before she threw another massive fit. I didn't want to teach her that it was okay to do so, but I just did the same thing that I did with Rosie and hopped off and thanked the staff. I knew that she had potential, but once again, I would not have the time to work with her. At all. The last facility I went to was an old childhood favorite, Moreland Stables, which I showed at a ton when I was younger.
and I talked to the owner who actually ended up recognizing me, which was pretty funny, and it was nice to catch up with her. She told me that the gelding that I was going to be trying out first was in turnout and asked if I would mind having to get him out. I told her that I didn't mind at all, and she let me know that she could bring the second horse I was meant to try out down to the arena for me, since I mentioned that I was running out on time, which was really nice of her, and getting to catch the gelding from the pasture would give me more insight on how his ground manners were and how he behaved. So, the first horse that I was trying out was a 13-year-old, 15.3 hand high, three ringer American quarter horse gelding named Coffee. He was turned out with this gorgeous gray mare who looked like an Andalusian cross, maybe a Lusitano, I don't know. All I knew is that she was pretty and probably cost more than my entire lineage. <laughs> he was easy to catch and I brought him to one of the outdoor hitching posts and tacked him up there. He had literal perfect growl manners and didn't move a muscle, he just stood there and slept. <laughs> The warm-up was just so much fun. His gates were true to a quarter horse, and they were so smooth. He was such a nice mover. Jumping him might have been even better. In total, I probably got one bad spot with him, which ended up being my fault because I can't see a stride for my life. But I was told that he had been trained Western, but then switched to English halfway through his training, which was interesting. but. Apparently now that he's jumping the height he can jump, the training went well, and he was such a good boy, and for him, I'm just gonna sit back and let you guys watch again. So after my ride with Coffee, a staff member came down and switched him out with the next horse who I was going to ride. I tacked her up in the ring, but I forgot to film it because I forgot to start my camera. <sighs> but she had very nice ground manners, and this is funnily enough Coffee's younger sister. She is a 9 year old American paint thoroughbred cross, I believe, who had been showing consistently and jumping one meter plus in the jumper ring. And she was amazing, just like her brother. She had pretty much perfect ground manners and was just such a nice mover with powerful and smooth gates. She was honestly a dream to ride. She was 
an insane jumper, and she knew how to pace herself well and was just so good at her job. Once again, I'll stop talking and just let you guys watch this perfect girl. Okay, welcome back. So I'm a little tired right now because it's 10 p.m. at the WWEC. Emma just got home from picking up a bunch of feed. And so the minute she got home, I was like, we have to go pick up new lesson horses. So I'm gonna show you guys the four horses that we brought home, which it's probably obvious, but you know, it'll be fun. And this is probably the last time you guys are gonna see me on camera for the video. So here's my outro ahead. Thank you for watching if you stayed throughout this extremely long video. I love you guys and I love the support. So obviously I brought home Geronimo because, just because, okay? He's beautiful and I loved him. He's going to be a perfect addition to our program, and I'm so excited. Next, we brought home Sugar, who will also be a nice addition, especially for our Hunter students, as she's got a very Hunter-y stance, gates, jumps, etc. Following up, we brought home Coffee, who will excel our program and provide so many opportunities to three ring riders. Oh god, I love this gelding. And last but not least, Clover, who was a no-brainer to bring, obviously. She's gonna end up being an advanced lesson horse just because of the height that she continuously jumps, but she's so fun. I love riding her. <laughs> <laughs> 